Now, some of us older folks, <clears throat> like me, I'm 57, remember how black political leaders were so infatuated with Bill Clinton in his run for the presidency because he could play the saxophone. Years later, his policies are now adjudged as a nemesis of black advancement. Years later, meaning that you were duped that you thought you had your first black president and a white man. Supporting the crime law and all of those things, the removal of the welfare system or the, uh, the strangulation of that when all the billions are going to his corporate buddies. The greatest welfare recipients are corporations and banks and investment companies. We should know that by the bailout of COVID-19. The little man gets $1,200. But the big corporations, they get billions. Well, why didn't black politician or black political leaders recognize the reality of Bill Clinton's treachery at the time when they were so enamored over him? Because we don't believe that we have a so-called mortal enemy in front of our face. And some black politicians are so happy to rub elbows with black people, I mean, with white people of notoriety. So you can go home and say you knew Bill Clinton. Well, look at him today, raggedy old man with blood all on his mouth like Dracula and blood on his hands, the blood of our fathers and our uncles. So why are black people slobbering over Joseph Biden, Bill Clinton's partner in the crime law that ransacked our families? Why NAACP? Why Urban League? Are you a new crop of Negroes? Well, you have neocons, warmongers, waiting in the wings to wreak more destruction on American lives in the lives of billions of others through an election of Joseph Biden to the presidency. I'm going to come back to that. Now, Caucasian people, you haven't escaped the treachery of your politicians, including Joseph Biden. Think about how many of your sons and daughters, particularly sons, die in the contrived wars in the war theaters that are, seems to be endless. A war on terror that started 20 something years ago, endless. How many of you have lost your land through banks owned by the synagogue of Satan? in the manipulation of policies? How many of you have lost your businesses and your jobs? So why don't you stand, take a stand, instead of taking the cowardly way out by committing suicide? So if I were a Caucasian citizen of the United States, I would be cautious about taking the advice of black people in their promotion of Joseph Biden as U.S. president. And I'm talking about the advice of President Obama and, Mich and Michelle Obama. Their advice to me would be worthless. So again, the Honorable Louis Farrakhan has made it emphatically clear that COVID-19 is a scourge from the almighty God and all nations are burdened with the losses in life and opportunities, all nations, a global pandemic for real, for real. So are U.S. citizens so arrogant to believe that they should suffer less loss than other nations? When the almighty God is responsible for this pestilence, 
Now, this is supposed to be a Christian nation. So search the Bible and find me one nation that was able to overcome the wrath of Almighty God when he poured it upon them. Not one. So why should the United States be any different from the other nations who are suffering loss because of God's wrath upon this world for its wickedness and the allowance or in the citizens allowing wickedness on behalf of their government? So Joseph Biden can shelve his only complaint against President Trump which is the COVID-19, he would have done better. No, you wouldn't have done better. I can't say you would have done worse, but God's wrath is upon this world. So you would not have done better and you will not do better. 